All right, today we have Pillsbury Cut and Squeeze Banana Bread. This is batter. Look at that, y'all. I had saw some people on Facebook with it, and I said, oh, I might like to try that, but I wasn't even thinking about it when I saw it in the Giant. So we picked it up. It was $5.99. It's telling you to grease the pan and bake it for I believe 60 to 75 minutes, so I didn't have any cooking spray, so I greased it with old school butter, y'all. And then we're just going to cut it open and squeeze it, y'all, just like cookie batter. And I did not have a traditional loaf pan, so we are using an 8x8 cake pan. And then I'm just trying to get every last little bit out of there, y'all. And also, I heard you can add fruit to it, nuts, and different things like that. So I'm just going to smooth it out, y'all. Smooth it on out. Smooth it on out. And then I was like, hmm, I have some bananas that were getting really ripe, y'all. So I decided to cut up a small banana. Okay, y'all, we baked this at 350 for a little over an hour, y'all. And that's what we got going on there, y'all. Look at that. Those bananas got a little bit caramelized there. And I'm just testing it to see if it was done. The knife came out clean, so yeah, I'm just cutting it. I'm cutting it like I would cut a cake um, since I didn't have a traditional Low pan, it doesn't matter, y'all. But let me tell you, it smells so good. Just like homemade, when I used to make homemade banana bread from scratch. So good, y'all. And it looks homemade as well. So I'm just cutting it again in the opposite direction. And these things are, you know, it's nothing like homemade, but this is close to it, y'all. So I don't see nothing wrong with cutting corners sometimes. And I think I told you guys it was $5.99, but look at that, y'all. Just pulling out a slice so you guys can see how moist that is, y'all. See, you got a little bounce to it, y'all. Delicious.